welcome back to my channel it's your girl Opa Glams and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys so this is a DIY kind of tutorial that you can do in the comfort of your home especially right now when we have all the time in the world to do stuff at home and yes today we're doing this plant you see before me this is either called lady fingers or okra or okra depending on what you want to call it guys so I'll be showing you guys um, how to make your own okra gel at home and also sharing with you guys healthy tips on why you should use this gel on your natural hair so if it's something you want to see then keep on watching guys guys I'll be telling you guys some of the healthy um, benefits why you should eat okra or use it for your natural hair now one of such benefits is that okra contains lots of folic acid or folate and it helps to control hormonal balance to stop hair loss same time consuming okra means consuming folic acid which help to prevent hair loss that is just so amazing do you also know that okra contains vitamin C Hmm. and okra is an excellent source of antioxidants now do you also know that okra also contains lots and lots of vitamin B B6 do you also know that okra has a lot of zinc and iron now the benefit of it is that both zinc and iron is useful for preventing hair loss iron helps to carry oxygen and other nutrients to other cells and those minerals and nutrients are good for the scalp Zinc also helps to repair cell and boost cell growth. Now these are all amazing benefits why you should either eat okra or use it for your natural hair. Now those nutrients can help to build good and healthy cell which means that good scalp and strong scalp can help boost hair growth. And good scalp is a must for stimulating follicle regrowth. So these are just one of the many reasons why you should use okra now this is a very very popular food okra okay it's all over the world you can get it anywhere you want to get it and it is very very beneficial that you use it for your natural hair so preparing this gel is very very easy and straightforward all I've just done is to dice the okra and put it in a pot now this is the time where you need to be very careful so you don't overcook the gel because all you need is the nutrients and you want all of those nutrients to still be in the gel so what you do is you make sure you let it boil for just five minutes don't over boil the gel or don't overcook your okra because you're going to end up losing all those amazing benefits that you want for your natural hair so five minutes it's okay for you to boil your gel the most important thing is while you're boiling this okra to get out the slimy um, juice for your hair all you need is a slimy juice right and once you have that five minutes is okay you already have that as you can see it's already the juice is ready the gel is ready it's just for you to let it cook just for five minutes and then you want to strain out the gel so when you have your gel there's so much you can do with the okra gel you can use it as a deep conditioner for your natural hair you can use it as a detangler it is just so great to use the gel as a detangler because it slides through your strands it helps with the knots if you're trying to detangle your hair before you apply your deep conditioner so okra gel is just amazing for that so you can use it as a detangler you can use it as a conditioner and do you also know that you can also use it to have amazing twist or twist out yes you can use okra gel to twist your natural hair and also have amazing twist out as a result and for me I will show you guys at the end of the video what I use my okra gel for so what I'm doing now is I'm extracting the juice and I have a lot so depending on how you like it some people like it very thick some people like it not so thick I don't like it so thick I think I like it this way it's best for me so depending on your preference that's the amount of water you add 
to the okra when you're boiling it but this is just perfect for me and do you also know that you can also eat the okra after extracting your juice yes so you can go ahead just extract the juice and use the remaining um, edible part of the okra to cook your okra soup your okra stew or whatever you do with okra you can also still get those amazing health benefits or healthy benefits from your okra done extracting your gel you let it cool off for a while because it's still very hot and then you go ahead and either use it as a conditioner or you use it as a detangler use it as a twisting pudding for your natural hair or whatever it is you want to do and so people actually do drink this gel yes because it has a lot of benefit healthy benefit for your health as well aside your natural hair so this is how to make your okra gel now you can also go ahead and add in any oil you want lavender peppermint oil tea tree oil any oil of your choice just in case that's your thing and now this is the big reveal i have a video coming up to show you guys how i achieved this beautiful bouncy soft wash and go style using my okra gel okay guys so thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video this video is coming up very soon but don't forget to subscribe to my channel until my next one bye